Hi everyone, welcome to Life as Compass. Thank you for being here. Today we're going to do a reading for Leo. This is going to be for the first half of August. We're going to pull several messages and see what uh, is going on for you in that period of time. I'm going to use today the Energy Oracle cards to start with. Leo, do keep in mind that not every message will resonate with every one of you, but your message can come through all the way in the end of the reading, so do stick around. And if you find this reading helpful to you, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps the channel grow and I appreciate all your help. If you feel comfortable getting engaged in the comments, please do so. I love to read the comments and uh, understand if the readings resonate. All right, we are ready. Leo, first half of August, what's going on? What's going on? We have appreciation coming through. The seed is here. This one right here for sure. The world. And caring connections. Okay. Leo, let's go ahead and start clarifying your cards and get a little bit more information, a little bit more messages here, starting with that appreciation card. <laughs> okay. Leo, the message that I'm getting here very, very strongly is that there is somebody from your past who's reminiscing about you, somebody who possibly broke your heart in the past, somebody who gave you a lot of heartache. Um, I feel like uh, there is a lot of kind of um, energy of a heart, a heart, heartache for both of you in this connection that happened there. But it feels like a very much divine union. For some of you, this could have been uh, even a karmic union in some way. But I feel like you moved away from it. I feel like you moved on. And that's what um, kind of prompted the other person to appreciate what they had and what they have lost. That's the message that I'm getting here. I feel like uh, they appreciate and they're very much uh, understanding now. They're realizing that what they had and what they had was a beautiful union of two people loving each other. And it feels to me like uh, you are moving on, you're moving away, you're moving away from this union here. What uh, made them understand that they actually want to come back. <laughs> the six of emotion, I do feel that there is an energy of uh, possible reconciliation. And this is them reminiscing about what they've had. Now, your energy is very much determined to move forward. So I'm not sure, Leo, if this is something that um, you will decide to go back to. I don't necessarily see you pursue, uh, you know, taking a turn back. But I, I do feel that you will know and they will uh, know that they regret what they've done. I feel this energy here very strongly. Um, they regret what happened. They regret that they uh, possibly um, walked away or they regret that they let you walk away from this union. I feel like they appreciate now what they've had more than they ever thought they would. That's the energy that is coming through very, very strongly here. But for a lot of you, Leo, you're determined to move forward and not look back, not look back on this union at all. It feels to me like... You want to move ahead, but they're kind of trying to pull you back, almost kind of pull you back. And uh, I do feel that this person is genuinely reminiscing about what happened and they genuinely um, are sorry. I do feel that. They realize what they've lost. Interesting message. Okay, let's go ahead and um, clarify this deceit. What is that about for Leo? What is this about? What is this deceit about? Yeah, interesting. Okay, wow. Um, Leo, it feels to me like um, you are opening your eyes to some 
something is going on in your either family or very close soul uh, soul group here uh, siblings coming through cousins coming through here it feels to me like uh, you're coming to a realization and you're getting some um intuitive messages almost about uh, the fact that not everybody in your surrounding presents themselves as they truly are. This is what I feel here very, very strongly. It feels to me like uh, they all want to look in a certain way, but they don't necessarily act the way um, in that way. So kind of putting it up a front, that's what I'm trying to say here. Uh, some of them, there could be some deceit going on. There could be something going on behind the scenes that they're trying to hide from you. But it feels to me like you're opening up to it. You're, you're seeing something. It feels to me like you're seeing something about these people. This also could be um, some sort of... Um, what I'm getting is, is like a, a group of... Um, People that were somehow like-minded, like, um, I don't know, like a group of interests, like you had the same interests or you have the certain beliefs. This could be very much connected to some sort of religious beliefs too, but or spiritual beliefs. This is what I feel. And it seems to me like you're realizing that not everybody in that group is actually following what they say. They're not necessarily doing the way they present uh, their beliefs and you might be opening up to, the to a completely new perspective you might be seeing this uh, group and understanding that you're not necessarily you don't necessarily have the same ideas you don't necessarily want to follow the same path here and i feel like you will be opening up to some new options some uh, and you will be opening up to new people here you could be even opening up to a new belief system this is what's coming through very strongly it almost feels to me like in a um, in, a, in a group that you've been in before, maybe even a family for some of you, but for a lot of you, it's like a, like I said, it could be like a religious group or something like that, like a group of uh, certain beliefs, people with a certain beliefs. I feel like you feel a little bit betrayed by something that has happened there or something that came up or some information that came up about these people. And you're opening up your perspective to some new opinions and, and new options. Interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, clarify this world card. What is this here about? For oh, my Leo. Okay, you're being let loose here, Leo. <laughs> this is what I feel. Leo, for some of you, you're coming out of some sort of uh, um, a situation where you were uh, held back in your career, where you uh, where your light was held back. Now, this could be for those of you, especially for those of you, Leos, who are in a certain like, a public eye. Um, or just have a position where, you know, there's a lot of people that are listening to you or following you or watching you or seeing you. What I feel here is there is something that has happened. That something was trying to manipulate you. Someone was trying to kind of hold you in a, um, in a shade, not necessarily allowing you to um, be put out there. Somebody could have even be taking your ideas and uh, presenting them as their own. I feel like uh, you exposing these people. You're exposing these people. You're putting an end to that situation. There is something that is happening from outside as well that is exposing these people, that not allowing them to... Um, manipulate anymore I feel like for a lot of you this is on a huge level this is like on some very major level this could be even on some sort of government level here this could be on some sort of even world events that affecting this somehow uh, the um, company maybe that you're working in and I feel like there is a huge shakedown that is happening here there is a, a big change and it's kind of like you're coming out of this. You're coming out of this and you're coming out as a star. The spotlight is on you. There is a lot of celebration. There is a lot of breaking free. There is a lot of movement. Free, sorry, breaking free. There is a lot of movement and there is a lot of pro career progress. It's like you've been held back. You've been kind of manipulated and staying in some sort of a confined situation where, where there were like, you, you were not seen. You were not seen and you were not allowed to express yourself in a certain way. But also, like, um, 
you were not allowed to show yourself to other people. It's, it's a very strange energy, but that's what's coming through. Like I said, for a lot of you, this could have been a person that was uh, taking your ideas and presenting them, uh, and not giving you a credit for them, presenting your ideas as their own. A lot of changes are happening here. A lot of changes, things are coming out. Truth is coming out here. A lot of truth is coming out here. And now you're going to get a credit for your own ideas, for your own efforts, for your own talents here. You will finally be seen and recognized. This is what I see. Oh, wow. Interesting. Okay, Leo, let's go ahead and clarify this uh, caring connections. What is that? What is this caring connections? What is this about? Okay, I feel like um, some of you, Leos, you've been waiting for something to happen. I feel like for some of you, you've been waiting for new love. It seems to me like you've been waiting for um, uh, to have that caring connection. You've been waiting for the person to come in with, uh, into your life who you can feel that love and care and warmth from. It feels to me like it's been a, a, a quite heavy on your head. You've been uh, thinking about it for quite a lot here. Some of you, you've decided to move away from the connection that has not worked well for you. But what I also feel is that first of uh, all, some of you, you've recently ended some sort of connection because it wasn't working and you're wanting a new love that has a lot of care and, and love in it. The connection has a lot of love in it. But what I also feel, uh, Leo, is that once you walk away from whatever no longer serves you, whatever the connection is not working out for you, that's when the new love was going to come in for you. Because it seems to me like you are contemplating, you're thinking, you're worrying, you're somehow waiting and not necessarily... Um, or you have been waiting for a long time and not necessarily taking action. Once you take that action, once you walk away and leave behind what no longer serves you, this is when the beautiful love comes into you. This is when the caring connection comes in. This is where this beautiful, joyful, new love, huge cup of love coming towards you, an offer of love. And I do feel that for, uh, for a lot of you, Leos, this is going to be in your season. This is going to be in Leo season. This is happening now for you. And uh, yes, I do feel it's going to bring a lot of joy and you will feel yourself in this union. Sun, this is your card. This is your representation, Major Arcana, one of them. And you will, feel very, you will feel free to be yourself in this connection as well. I feel like the person will appreciate you for who you truly are and not trying to change you in any way, which could have been the case in your previous relationship here. This is what I see. If you want love, I see love coming in for you. And uh, um, it's time to walk away from whatever no longer serves you so you can allow this new love to come in into your life. This is what I see. All right, Leo, let's go ahead and move this out of the way. And let's uh, pull some cuba cards for you. Let's go ahead and see what are the messages we have for Leo for the first half of August? What's happening? Oh, look at that. I'd like to see that. Great fortune. Great fortune. I kind of got a peak of marriage card there, but let's see what is really coming through. Look at that. Great fortune was poverty in reverse. Whoa, that's quite powerful here. And we have a distance and horizons with toil and labor. Some of you could be traveling for work. I do see business travel for you at this period of time. I do feel uh, you moving uh, to the times when you will be quite busy at work. I do feel that um, um, there is there is this energy of just being uh, taking care of a lot of things, being busy, but also making a lot of money. Look at that. We have great fortune and we have poverty in reverse. I do see a huge turnaround in your financial situation and there is definitely more money to come. Um, I do feel that for those of you who've been struggling financially, that's coming towards the end. That's coming towards the end here and you are coming into a much, much more stable and abundant financial situation. This is a very clear message here. Couldn't be more clear than this. 
And for a lot of you, this end of this uh, poverty state here, end of this lack of finances is coming with that sort of movement that sort of possibly travel, maybe for some of you even uh, relocating here. Some of you could be definitely relocating for work. If you would be looking for a job, I do see that uh, you could be finding a job somewhere further away from where you are right now. And look at the numbers. You have 36, 37, 38. This is a gradual movement. A gradual movement, a great progression, a stable progression here that is going to lead you to great fortune. I love to see that. All right, let's go ahead and pull some Coffee Cup Oracle cards and uh, we're going to close off this reading with these messages. So let's see what messages we can get for you here. Leo, first half of August, what's going on? Leo, 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 Leo. Oh, all of these, okay. All right, let's go ahead and see. Oh, look at that. We have that luck and money. The coins are coming in. More money coming your way, Leo, there. That I see for sure. And we have five engagement, old man inheritance at home, and lock and lock. Yeah, a lot of you could uh, will be definitely moving and relocating. I do see a new home in your future here, unlocking new doors here. Some of you could be moving in with somebody. I do feel that. that could, you could be taking, if you are in some sort of connection, a romantic connection, I do see you taking it to a new commitment level. And for a lot of you, this will be moving in together, like not necessarily... Um, I don't necessarily see, you know, getting married at this point, but I do see you uh, moving in with the person and taking your commitment to a new level here. Um, you're coming into a better money. I do see that very strongly. And yes, I do feel there could be some people around you that are a little bit envious in this situation here. Um, there is this inheritance card. I don't, uh, I mean, it is coming with all this uh, luck and money. So yes, for some of you, this could be a case, but I, that's not the major energy that I feel here. What I feel here mostly is that the money that you will be coming into is going to come for you from work, from you uh, taking on your opportunities, you unlocking new doors, um, uh, taking, um, just, you know, working, working hard and bring, turning around your own fortune here and coming into the better money. Be careful. Yes, there could be definitely some people that are envious of you because of the, your situation, because of the glow up in the financial situation that you have here. But do know that you are protected. You're very much protected here. Um, some of you, uh, Leos, will be visiting your uh, family during this period of time. I do feel that some of you could be visiting your parents, especially if your parents are elderly. Some of you could be visiting your grandparents at this time in this uh, first half of August. I do get that message here as well. All right, this is what's going on, Leo. These are the messages I have for you. It's a very interesting reading. A lot of things came through today. I truly hope that you found something in this reading that was helpful to you. Please do let me know in the comments if this resonated with you in any way. And thank you for being here today. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you again. Bye for now.